What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another tutorial for you and in this one I'm going to be showing you a Vegas effects tutorial on how to get a possessed look or demon eyes. I'm going to show you how to make this from scratch and we're going to be layering it with different types of effects so we can make it look as realistic as possible. If you're interested in gaming at all, I have a gaming channel called Scrapyard Plays. And if you're interested in vlogs, behind the scenes, cosplay, and music and stuff like that, I have a vlog channel and I have both of those linked in the description below. So let's load up Vegas effects and jump right into it. All right, first thing we want to do is take a clip, drag it into our media bin, and from there, drop it on the timeline. This is the clip I'm using, so let's play this all the way through to see what we're working with. And next, we're going to track each eye movement. Bring your cursor to the point where your eye is opening, and place your tracker right on the inner part of the eye, and then start the track. Once you've completed both tracks, let's create a new point and we'll call this left eye point. Once you've created that, we're going to duplicate it and call the next one right eye point. And then we're going to go to the trackers under our clip and then copy the tracking data to the correct point. So the first track that we did, we can copy that to the left eye point. And the second track, we can copy that to the right eye point. Next, let's make a plane. We can make it any color we want because we're just going to hide it for right now. But this plane specifically is going to be for our first eye, which this one's going to be our left eye. So I'm going to name it left eye plane. And then we want to parent it to the left eye point. Now we can click the little eyeball and hide this plane temporarily. Next, we're going to draw a mask around the perimeter of our eyeball. So drag your cursor along your timeline and find a point in your clip where your eye is open the widest. Once you find the exact spot, do not move the cursor at all until the end. This is very important. Now the next thing you want to do is go down to the bottom right a little bit under this YouTube video and click that little like button because that'll really help me out and help this channel grow. When you're ready to start masking, make sure masks is selected at the bottom and then click the pen tool at the top. Then we're going to trace around our eyeball. Once you're done, you can unhide your plane and see your result. Next, we're going to click the little oval icon and make an oval mask around your eye like this. Under the second mask's properties, change it from add to intersect, then drop down the options, go to shape, and change expansion and feather length to where it gives you a little bit of a gradient on the left and right of your eye. After that, go to our effects tab and then we're going to type in the word gradient and find the effect radial gradient. Drag and drop that onto your left eye plane, select the controls tab, and drop down all the options for radial gradient. Let's zoom out and then make sure your mouse selector tool is active. And then we're going to drag and move the gradient to where it's in the dead center of your eye. Next, go ahead and shrink the inner radius to about the size of what your pupil would be. After that, go to your outer radius and shrink that to where it's just covering your entire eyeball. Now let's get the colors right. So temporarily uncheck the radial gradient. And then under inner radius, grab the selector eyedropper and select an area close to the center of your eye. Now do the same thing with outer radius, select the eyedropper, and we're going to select the area closest to the edge of our eye. Recheck radial gradient and see your result. After that, turn the outer radius opacity to 100%. And finally, let's adjust our gradient scatter and put that to about 75%. Because if that looks too smooth, it kind of looks a little more unrealistic. Now it's time to make this look a little better and add shadows. In the effects tab, let's go ahead and search for inner glow, and then drag that onto your left eye plane. This is going to provide a slight shadow for the inner perimeter of your eye. The values we're going to set are going to be a little bit different for different types of lighting, but here are the settings I use for this type of shot. Make the color black. Keep the opacity at 0.5. Change the size to 10. Change the spread to 30. And then slightly offset the X and Y values to match the lighting. Once you're satisfied with that, drag another inner glow onto your left eye plane. Now this will provide a slight shadow for the key light on your eyeball. Again, these values will also be a little bit different depending on the type of lighting, but here are the settings I used. Change the color to black. I increased the opacity to 0.55. I changed the size to 60. I kept the spread at zero. And then I offset it by 40 on the X value and negative four on the Y value. Once you're satisfied with the left eye, then we can actually duplicate the left eye plane and rename it to right eye plane. Change the parenting of this one to the right eye point. And now we're going to need to move the position of a few things over to the right eye. You're going to need to move the first mask, the second mask, and the radial gradient. Once you got all those centered on the right eye, then we need to change around our top mask to make it fit perfectly around your right eye. So uncheck the top mask, and then go over to the top and make sure the pen tool is selected. Click and drag around all the points to select all of them. 
and then drag a corner inward to scale it down. From here, you can move all the points outward to perfectly go around your eyeball. Then you can re-enable the mask to see what it looks like. After that, the next step is go down to the bottom right a little bit under this YouTube video and click the little subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And to easily get notified whenever I upload a new video, click that little bell notification too. Now you'll want to mess around with both those inner glows to make this eye match the lighting. For that, I disabled the second one because that provided too harsh of a shadow, and then I adjusted the perimeter eye shadow a little bit. Once you're happy with the look of that eye, we go on to the final step, which is animating the mask. The good thing is you only have to animate the outer mask of each eye. So I'm going to start with the right eye. Make sure up at the top you have your pointer selected, and then drop down the trees of the first mask. Then go to transform and drop that down. We're going to hold control and click position and scale to select them both at the same time. And then be sure to click that little blue chain link because that'll disable the lock aspect ratio. Now click one of the little circles to the left of position or scale and that'll add your first keyframe. You could also add any other keyframes you want at any time if you hold alt and press the letter T on the keyboard. So now you're going to slowly drag your cursor forward or back, whichever way you want to go, and then make micro adjustments to the mask depending on the way your eye moves. If you hold control and shift and then click and drag a point, that'll easily allow you to adjust the shape of the eye and it'll also create a keyframe whenever you make a small adjustment like that. So go through and try to make that as accurate as possible. When you get to the frame where your eye is completely closed, you can drag the mask past itself and that'll completely remove the mask. You can also enable the keyframes for rotation to make sure you get it looking perfect. The next thing you'll want to do is animate the opacity as well. You'll want to add two keyframes for the exact moment your eye opens and then change the value of the first one when your eye is completely closed to zero and the value of the second one when your eye starts to open to 100%. If you don't do this, you'll see a little bit of an inner shadow before your eye even opens. Once you're done, check the mask to re-enable it and then scroll through it and see what it looks like. If it looks good to you, collapse it and do the same thing for the left eye. Once you've completed that, you got yourself a nice demon look. If you wanted to make your eyes different colors, you can easily do that by changing the colors in the radial gradient for the inner and outer radius. And there you go, you now know how to give yourself the demon eye or possessed look. It's fairly easy to do and it can be pretty customizable in a lot of different ways. Don't forget if this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like down there because that'll really help me out. And if you wanted to learn more about stuff, video editing, special effects, giveaways, vlogs, all that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button down there and then hit that little bell notification to get notified. So thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see y'all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.